happened. We've had mm -hmm. these stories almost every day, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. every day this summer, of people getting in water where the yeah. red flags are. They're told not to get in that mm -hmm. water. And if a lifeguard didn't want to get in there, you should want to get right. in there, right? Exactly. And I understand you're on vacation, you're at the beach, you want to go into the water, but I mean, literally dip your toes in the water, yeah. and that's about it. Go when to the pool. The conditions are <laughs> that dangerous. Yeah, just enjoy the sand. Let's take a look at what's happening out there right now. The unsettled weather pattern of the past several days has finally gotten a kick off to the east. Back to kind of typical July weather for the next few days, which eh, may not be great. It's back to the hazy, hot, and humid weather, but at least you can get some stuff outdoors done. You can at least mow the lawn, which has probably grown substantially over the last few days, and that means you can contribute to the pollen count. It's grass pollen, also a little bit of ragweed in the atmosphere, and that pollen count is going to be in the medium category today. Through the weekend, maybe we'll wash some of that stuff out of the atmosphere for early and next week. In terms of the Skeeter meter, <laughs> yeah, back into the red territory here. With lower rain chances, those things are going to be out and about, especially with maybe some standing water left over from the rain chances over the last few days. Looking outside from Carter-Finley Stadium, some fog on the horizon, but it's not up close and personal. It's going to be real patchy as you're heading out the door this morning. Visibilities are all over the place, anywhere from a half mile in Southern Virginia to some places, unobstructed visibility. Give yourself an extra minute or two just to be on the safe side. It doesn't hurt to be early to work. Some patchy dense fog right now over downtown Goldsboro. 69 degrees the temperature there. We just lost our feed. That doesn't have anything to do with the fog. Just a little blip in the transmission. Temperatures are in the upper 60s officially in the triangle. 70 degrees in Durham and Cary. 70 Holly Springs as well. Mostly right around 70. Just a little warmer the farther south you go. It's 72 in Smithfield. 71 Spring Lake. 72 degrees as well on post at Fort Bragg. In general, just a degree or two cooler than the past few mornings, but it's still warm, it's still muggy, and that's not going to change much throughout the day. Happy looking dog of the day. This is Coco. Thank you to Coco's human, Crystal, for sharing that picture with us. Just out and sticking the head out the window. I always love doing that. Get the breeze in the face. We're not going to see much of a breeze overall today, and it's going to be hot for your furry friends, so take it easy on them. Temperatures are going to warm up to around 90 by late afternoon. Chance of a passing shower, but we're talking about a 20% chance today. Let's check out Futurecast's version of that and show you what we expect. The fog dissipating will be calm by noon. But then just a chance of an isolated, widely scattered showers and thunderstorms. The best chance of staying off to our south and down towards Wilmington. If you're going to be driving down towards Riceville Beach or Carolina Beach today, better chance of scattered showers and thunderstorms in that direction. The unsettled weather pattern that's out of here now still kind of stuck near them for at least one more day. Let's check out the weekend forecast. We're going to see a chance of scattered showers and thunderstorms each day, gradually increasing chances, but neither day is looking like a washout. It's still going to be hot on Saturday with highs above 90. Very warm Sunday, but at least we'll be a little bit below 90 degrees for that official high temperature. And then that trend is going to continue into early next week with increasing rain chances. That means decreasing temperatures mid to upper 80s Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday as another slow moving system kind of gets stuck nearby. All right. Well, today we're not talking about rain around the area. We're talking about fog. Yes. Reducing visibilities in spots. It's not, you ran into a lot coming yeah, in from Durham I did. County. I came in from Johnston County and I had. A little bit in our neighborhood, and yeah. that was about it. It's kind of hard to say for sure if you are going to see fog where you live, but just watch out for a little bit of patchy fog if you are heading into Raleigh or Durham this morning. I saw some pretty